Now we are going to look at a couple of other definitions, important things like proton number. This is perhaps the easiest definition. It is the number of protons in an atom. That's it. And why is this important? Because it tells us the element. It identifies what element you have. So any atom, if you want to know what element it is, look at its proton number. And it's usually the small number next to the symbol. So if I have sodium and I have a symbol, 1123. So this 11 is the proton number. Similarly, if I have a small symbol, it is written like this. So here, this small number is the proton number. Hoga. So sometimes they give us definition. By the way, in your syllabus, they will give you this. Exam mein hamesha wo use karta hai. But sometimes in the periodic table, we see written it like this. Exam mein nahi hoga. Exam mein hamesha aise hoga. But remember, it's always the smallest number. I have a question for you. There is one atom in which this number and this number is the same. Why that is? Think about it. And I'll move on to the next definition, which is called nucleon number, which is also called mass number or atomic mass. This is the bigger number here. This is atomic mass or nucleon number. And this is basically the sum of protons and neutrons in an atom. So an atom, jitne usme protons or neutrons honge, which means uske nucleus mein jo jo kuch hai. Because remember, protons and neutrons are in the nucleus. So whatever is in the nucleus tells us the mass of that thing. And why is that? Because outside the nucleus, you have electrons which have no mass or almost nothing. So only these have any significant, any valuable mass. So when you add them, you get the total mass. So that is called mass number. So this is usually the bigger number next to it. And now I want you to Think about why hydrogen has this symbol where both the numbers are same. Why is that? There's only one that has that. Sir, because there are zero neutrons or just one proton or electron. Excellent. Excellent. It has the same proton number as mass number because what is mass number? It is protons and neutrons. And if you have no neutrons, the mass number is same as proton number. Very good. Taha. Okay, now I want you to open periodic table. So this is the official periodic table you will get in your exam. Okay, please open it up. Identify an element with nine protons. Dekke batayin, kaun sa element nine protons hongi usme? Sir, it's fluorine. It's fluorine, excellent. And how did you know that? Actually, in the periodic table, the smaller number was 9. And I actually periods the groups. The groups are increased groups. If you have atomic number, you increase the groups. If you have an increasing group, you increase the atomic number. Very good. All you have to do is that you have to see number 9. You have to see the group, you have to see the mass. All you have to do is that number 9. And you will notice in the periodic table, let me share it. Yeah. So if you look over here, then you can see that these numbers jo hain, ye increase. Karte jate hain. Theek hai? So the smaller number is always going to increase. Or you can see that here is 1, hai, then you have 2 here, then you have 3, 4, 5. And you will see that all of them are in that same thing. Ye yahan se aise increase karte ja rahe, 6, 7, 8, 9, and it's all in that same order, right? You can see that. And it goes all the way up to 103, and then it goes to 104. So, you can see that basically it happens. Here, we se start from 1, aise horizontally they keep on increasing. There's a gap here, but then the gap is filled. And you can see that it comes. And then up to this point, which we barium, kehte, barium ke baad, you change it. You will see that 57 yahan pe aage. Or 57 se 71 yahan pe honge. Then you go back here. And then half neum se onwards ye idhar aage. Similarly, 89 se aage, they are all here. And then you come back here. So usually, the group that is in here, jinko hum lanthanoids and actinoids kehte hain. Lanthanoids because ye lanthanium ke baad wale or actinoids because actinium ke baad wale. So these are 14 elements. They are usually not written inside the periodic table. Just like hydrogen is not written inside the periodic table. 
And there are reasons for why that is. Hydrogen has properties that are both metal and non-metal. So we don't write it here. We will study periodic table in detail and we'll keep coming back to it. But right now, I just want you to look at the proton number and know that they are all in order. So you can identify it here. So let's do one more. Element number 22. Who can identify that? Apple has launched iPhone mein launch kiya usko. Sir, titanium. Sir, titanium. Yes, very good. And you can see over here. This is element number 22. So all you have to do is look at the proton number. Se aapko nazar and they're all in order. So it's very easy to find out. 